Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm here with the Creality High Combo. A lot of you have been asking how to use the High Combo without the fancy Creality RFID filament. Today, we will go over that process. In the process of doing the process, we are going to go scorched earth and throw four different brands of filament and multiple types of filament at the High Combo at the same time. We've got Bamboo Lab PLA Silk Color Changing, Acidicity Color Changing PLA Silk, Prusa Prusa Mint Galaxy Green PLA, and Polymaker PLA Tough. PLA Tough is a stronger than PLA Plus PLA manufactured by my friends at Polymaker. Speaking of friends, I don't take a single dollar from a single 3D printer company. Without the support of my friends in the industry, Bamboo, Acidicity, Prusa, Polymaker, and more, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. Special thanks to all of them for being so kind and always providing me with cool filaments to work with in my videos. It matters who you support in this industry, and one of the privileges and honors I get is to pull back the curtain and see the real human beings behind the names of these companies and to learn who they are, what they do, and how they actually care about the 3D printing industry. Any of you from these companies watching this video know who you are, and I thank you very, very much. Let's get started. I've also chosen filaments of different width and spool type, plastic and cardboard, with acidicity being the thinnest and prusament being the thickest. I'd also like to point out, have you ever seen better winding than this Prusa filament. To get started, open your CFS. On the high combo, press the hamburger and press material. I will load the bamboo color changing silk. The CFS will feed it as usual. Keep in mind, the CFS will do a better job with the lid closed. The same goes for your AMS. The difference here is that the Creality CFS cannot read this filament, therefore the high combo cannot receive this information from the CFS. We will go ahead and add it manually by touching edit. In here, enter the brand, Creality or generic. Generic, press OK. Choose the type, it's already PLA. Choose the color. I will choose the closest color. Choose OK. Go ahead and press OK. The reason we do this is for the Creality High Combo to communicate this information with Creality Print 6. This will make configuring your colors and your project easier because the program will know what's in your printer. We will do this for the next two, three, four, or more filaments. Acidicity, color changing silk blue on a cardboard spool. Polymaker, PLA Tough on a thin cardboard spool. And Prusament Galaxy Green on a quite large plastic spool. Repeat that process on the screen. Touch the filament, touch edit. Generic, blue, okay, slot C, edit, generic, touch slot D, edit, and it's a, it's a type of dark green. I'll pick the closest and press okay. And here you can see all four colors are there. You can back out to the home screen. And we'll pop over to Creality Print. Here we are in Creality Print 6. You will see you don't have the RFID filaments showing from the CFS. To sync them up, click on device. Make sure your high combo is your current device and click back to prepare. You will now see it's matched up your CFS. Keep in mind this 
is the CFS. This is the project. CFS 1A, B, C, and D. Red, blue, black, green, just as I chose it. Let's go ahead and add four colors to this project. We will press the plus button and choose CFS 1, CFS 2, CFS C, and CFS D. It's A, B, C, and D, not slot 1, 2, 3, and 4. And here are the four colors, roughly, that I have as generic PLA in my CFS. Let's go ahead and drag a test model onto the bed. Let's go ahead and make it bigger. Let's go ahead and paint these four colors onto this model. Today, I'm not teaching you. Today, we're just doing a demonstration. And here we have one, two, three, four colors. If we want to get crazy, we'll go ahead and do two different colors here on the top. I'm going to switch to a 0.24 layer height just to get this thing done faster. One hour, four minutes, 10 filament changes with four different size and material spools from four different manufacturers. Send print, choose my Creality High Combo named Palvin. You'll see the camera view and off it goes. I'll be back in one hour or We'll just use a flux capacitor and get there faster. Also, did you know here in Creality Print Fluid, you can see all of your current printers, what they're doing and what they're printing. I can click in to my K1 by pressing details. And there's my K1. I press the X button right here, click in to details. And this is my CR10 SE. I have no camera on that. X out, click on details for the high combo, and here's my high combo. An hour later, here we are. All four spools worked well and all four filaments printed well. And this was using the generic PLA profile. No calibrating, no testing, no adjustments whatsoever. Not too bad. Bamboo, Acididi, Perusa, Polymaker. Bamboo, Acidicity. Considering I did no calibrating or testing or adjustments to the profiles for the filament. I'm super impressed. It looks really nice. Now that you know how to use your favorite filament with the Creality High Combo and the CFS, load some up and give it a go. I'm Greg Adventure and you're on 3D Rundown.